guys, it's Nelly. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing an old school get ready with me style video. Today, Lawrence and I actually make seven years of being together. It's our anniversary and we are heading out to dinner. So I decided to just turn the camera on and film myself getting ready. And this is the look that I came up with. I'm also really excited because in today's video, I am trying new makeup products that I have never tried before. I have some drugstore, I have some more high end products but for the most part everything that I tried in today's video is new except for my bronzer yes everything else is pretty much new I could there could be other stuff but majority of the stuff that I tried in today's video is all new stuff to my collection before we go ahead and get into this video as always please don't forget to like share and subscribe and without further ado let's get into this get ready with me date night makeup tutorial. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get started. So I am starting off by priming my eyelids with concealer as usual and blending that out with a beauty blender. Next, I'm going to go into the Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Thunder Palette. And the first shade that I am going to be taking is called Storm Dust. And I'm going to play Storm Dust super messy in the crease. As you can tell, I'm not being really neat. I'm not being really precise. I am just pretty much packing this on the crease as sloppy as can be then I'm going to go ahead and grab some scotch tape and I'm going to place this in the outer corner of my under eye like in the outer corner of the eye if that makes any sense just watch what I'm doing I promise you it will make total sense for this look I really wanted a sharp edge and the tape is going to make that possible for us next I'm going to go into lunar eclipse also from the Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Thunder palette and I'm going to use this shade to blend out that first shade that we put on so I'm taking this shade pretty high up in the crease and I'm also extending it out towards the tail of the brow and towards the arch that that tape has created next I'm gonna go into the shade zero gravity it's more of a cool tone brown but it's so beautiful and I'm just packing this in the outer corner of the eye and I'm bringing it in towards the crease just a little bit and I'm also going to apply the tiniest bit to the inner corner of the eye next I'm gonna go into eternal light and I'm going to apply this to my brow bone as my brow bone highlight I'm gonna go ahead and remove the tape reveal the masterpiece see if I have to fix anything and of course I always like to go in with a baby wipe or a makeup wipe and I'm just going to clean up any excess and really make the outer edge really nice and sharp. Next, I'm going to go in with a concealer and I'm just going to begin to kind of carve out that lid, cut that crease. You don't have to do a super intense cut crease. Just make sure that that lead, the lead, <laughs> that the lid is really nice and cut and carved out so once you have done that i'm going to go back into my palette and i'm going to take the shade black matter which is this beautiful duochrome kind of sparkly purple shade it's so beautiful it has a like pink and purple glitters it's stunning and i'm going to pack this color wherever we applied that concealer so make sure to pack it on you can pack this all over the lid or you can take it kind of halfway like i did i'm going to go in with a little bit more of zero gravity and i'm just going to intensify that outer corner because i want it to be really nice and dark moving on to the skin i'm going to apply foundation this is the revlon color stay foundation i haven't used this foundation in years and i forgot how much i loved it so i am I'm applying this all over the skin using my brush this is a sigma flat kabuki brush i believe and i'm just pretty much applying the foundation all over the skin and then i'm going to go in with my juno co um beauty sponge and i'm just going to blend out the foundation and make sure that everything is nice and seamless i'm going to go in with the covergirl true blend concealer in medium i believe i'll have all of the shades down below in the description so make sure to check that out but i'm applying this concealer under the eyes and i was pretty impressed by the concealer it was actually my first time using this concealer and definitely going to be using it again I love the coverage that it gave me and it was super moisturizing so really like it gotta get gotta keep playing with it a little bit more to give you guys my final thoughts but 
for the first time, I was pretty impressed. I'm also applied, I also applied the concealer in the T-zone, and now I'm just going to go ahead and take that same beauty sponge with a little bit of foundation left in it, and I'm just blending out that concealer into place and making sure that everything is nice and seamless and everything just kind of flows together nicely. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a little bit of cream contouring. This is the Avon Contour Stick in Medium. And I'm just going to be applying this in the areas where you normally want to contour. And I got a little, I got a little artsy with it today. So I'm applying this in the forehead, hollows of the cheek. I also applied some on the chin area and I also applied some down at the neck. I have switched up my contour routine quite a bit. So let me know if you want me to do an updated contour and highlight routine because I have definitely changed it up a bit. I'm also going to be contouring the sides of the nose and I'm going to be contouring the lips to give us more of a nice pout taking a blending brush and I'm just going to begin to blend this into the skin I actually really liked this color it was a little bit too cool tone for me but I think it worked really well and I really liked it I really liked the formula it was really nice and easy to blend in and overall I had a good experience I know my neck looks a little patchy, but I promise you everything comes together. Do not worry. So once we're done blending out the contour on our face, I like to take a smaller brush and I just like to blend out the nose contour a little bit. And I do take my nose contour all the way up to the brow. And then once I'm done with using a brush, I'm gonna go in with my beauty sponge once again and just smooth everything over. You wanna make sure that you blend it out as much as possible but not too much to erase the contour but definitely blend it out so that you don't have like two lines going down your nose i'm taking that same uh cover Girl concealer but this time in the light shade and i am just applying that to the inner corner of the eyes and on the side of the nose and tip of the nose to further highlight now I'm gonna take the CoverGirl Banana Setting Powder. This is a new powder by them, and holy guacamole, I was so impressed with this powder. This powder is thick. As you can see, I am trying to blend it out, and it was a lot to blend out. I definitely learned that I have to use a little bit less powder if I'm gonna use this powder because it was a lot like i made the mistake of going in with a second layer um and yes definitely if you use this powder please do not use as much as i did use a little bit you do not need this much my makeup turned out really pretty but it was really hard to blend out and my under eyes looked a little dry and it was because i used so much powder so keep that in mind okay bronzing i'm using as always my benefit hula bronzer i'm just going to bronze the areas where we applied the cream contour and now I'm going to go ahead and line my waterline with a nude eyeliner. So I'm going to go back into the palette and I'm going to take the hot pink shade, which is called Lucid Dreams. And I'm going to just apply this to the lower lash line. I really wanted to have like a nice pop of color. And I think this did exactly that. So see here, I am trying to blend out this powder and it is a mission to blend out like ugh, I'm struggling. So please 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 don't use as much as i did so going in with the blush i'm using the benefits cosmetics i think this is called rocketor blush i'm not sure but check the description i will have that linked down below and i'm going to take a big fluffy brush and try to blend out that bake and as you can tell it does not blend out so use very very little of this powder because it's it's pretty intense. I was super impressed with the powder, but definitely I need to use a little bit less. I'm going to uh, spray my face with some Fix Plus. I desperately needed Fix Plus. My face was very dry. Now I'm going to line my lips. I'm using the Kylie and Khloe Kardashian. This is their lip liner, their collab together. Collab? Collab? <laughs> I'm sorry, I cannot speak. I'm trying to get this done as fast as possible so that you guys can see this video today, so I apologize. But I just lined my lips, and I'm going to fill in my lips using the Dominique Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade Babe. I like to tap it out with my finger and really blend it out. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply some of the Eternal Light to my inner corner and also to the tip and bridge of the nose. I'm going to go ahead and apply lashes. These are the MB Lashes.
lashes in the style siren and then I decided to go ahead and apply some gloss and this is a gloss by Kylie also in collaboration I think this is from her birthday collection actually and yeah that is pretty much it you guys this is the finished look okay guys so this is it this is the completed look this is everything i had so much fun filming this makeup look for you guys not only do i love the way that this look turned out but i tried so many new products that i actually really enjoyed playing with and it was kind of like an old school youtube vibe in my opinion because i just turned my camera on i really didn't have any idea what i would what look i was going for i put on my favorite show catched up on some of my favorite some of my friends YouTube videos while I was getting ready to head out so it was a lot of fun and it kind of reminded me of the old school YouTube days when I first started doing YouTube channels where it was more about the craft and you people would get really like into their makeup and there was not a lot of talking or a lot of play and it was just you know makeup so I hope that made sense <laughs> but yeah that is going to be it for today's video you guys I love you so much I'm going to head out to dinner. We are quite hungry. Lawrence is waiting for me. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. It helps me when you guys like, share, comment, all that good stuff. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. But that is going to be it. I love you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.